Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you about the 2022 Minecraft mob vote and why it was so bad. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I don't have any illustrations or anything like that. This is just assessing why the last mob vote was so bad. I'm going to be dividing thing, the, the points thing, like which mob was the best and stuff. I'll get to... You know what, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So I'm gonna give each mob a point for if they succeed in one of three categories. And there are only three categories, so each category they succeed in gets a point. So we're gonna start out with the, uh, shall we say, uh, the tough golem. The tough golem, I think, was definitely more cute cutesy or whatever. Cutesy, cute, whatever. That's the first category. I mean, it was not. It's, it's horrifying. The second category is early game slash short-term game helpfulness, and this and Tough Golem honestly is the most useless mob I know of. In fact, the only reason why it even gets a point is because it can do something late game that someone might want to do something with. So, yeah. So, the tough golem ends up with one point. Not a very good mob. You, you're you gonna start seeing a trend here. Anyway, next up we'll go to the rascal. Rascal was the second mob to get voted out, and honestly, that was my favorite. I loved the idea that you could get enchanted iron pickaxes so easily. And we're gonna start off with cutesy. The rascal I do not think is cute, so it gets no point for that. It's a very helpful early game, and yeah, very helpful. So, but it's not so helpful late game, so it gets another point. So yeah. In my opinion, the rascal was fine, but it's just not an amazing mob. If you want an amazing mob, it has to fit all three categories, unless it's hostile, because hostile mobs are usually fine without fitting into all three categories. <coughs> Most of the time they can do just fine without that. Anyway, the next then, okay, so, yeah, that was pretty fun. Talk about, what am I talking about? I'm rambling on. Okay, and lastly, the Sniffer, the winner. I am amazed that the Sniffer, of all the mobs, has the most points. First of all, it gets a Q point, the only one in the mob vote to get a Q point. And secondly, it's somewhat useful late game for plants. That is, uh, the only thing. Those two points make it, in the end, the wit there in my eyes by that point. However, it's still one anyway, but you might notice that, well, yeah, why is this win or whatever? Like, I don't know, understand how so many people voted for it, because I, whether you voted for it or not, it is a terrible mob. That vote, in my opinion, was the worst mob vote ever. It was the only mob vote, it was the first mob vote I participated in, and it was terrible. So that is why the la not one of these actually fit all three categories, and in the end, all of them weren't exactly great. Anyway, that is all for this video. The next video will be about the new mob vote and why it is better. Or at least I think it's better. Uh, I think that's what it's going to be called. Cheerio!